What's going on everyone? I'm Matt Stryker and this is Ree's Retro Toys. On today's adventure, we are continuing our toy hunt of Toys for the Ages Expo 2022. I took so much footage that I really couldn't condense it down to one video. So this is actually going to be the continuation of our last episode, which I'm sure many of you have already watched and know how awesome and incredible the show actually is and are really now thinking about coming to the next one. And so get ready for part two of Toys for the Ages Expo coming at you live right now. in the morning early bird opens at 9 and we've got the line forming right now for early bird admission in the toys for the ages it's gonna be a great show Love this, the, the clear phone is awesome. <laughs> How you guys doing? Real good. Finally getting around to doing a video. Were you guys set up last year here? First time. Oh yeah? Cool, cool. Appreciate it. This, uh, this is a killer show, man. I mean, vintage everywhere. Incredible. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, we lived up there for a while. We're on the farm. I watched some Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Real good. All sorts of vintage games. What's up, buddy? How you been? Good. What was the last thing you bought for me? Oh my was God. it Star Wars? Probably. Okay. Probably. Because I don't know if you went and got it graded. I didn't. Okay, that's not good. Somebody else. Mm -hmm. I only grade a few things. Like, I got a Wonder Bread E-Man. Oh, nice. Good deal. Yeah, so I think I'd probably think about getting him graded. You should. And, Just... I've, and I've got some... WWF Hasbro prototypes, like the hard copy prototypes. Those, those I recommend. You know why? Because they're just Right. Sometimes there's certain things you don't need to. Like, yeah. Right. Because they've got CAS here, right? Yeah. Ready for uh, submissions. Mark, Mark's taking exception. Uh, it, uh, it's taking, what's it called? Submissions? Or? Submissions, yeah. <laughs> Did you see Matt yet? Matt's here. Yeah, I saw him. I just think it's a hot day. Okay. We'll return after these messages. Imagine this! Deep in the jungle you discover it, the Cobra Terradrome with gun emplacements almost everywhere and special base for refueling vehicles. There it is! The Cobra Terradrome is really incredible. That's Dr. Mindbender! And now, look! They've captured Flynn! It's time to warn the Joes, but suddenly they launch the Firebat. G.I. Joe, American hero! Live the adventure of G.I. Joe. Cobra Terradrome comes with Firebat and Pilot. Other figures and equipment sold separately. Yo, Joe!
Second chance toys. You almost had That's hilarious. She's like, we were just close to leaving. Good, how are you? Retro and rad. What's up, guys? How are you? Good. 
good, good. Good. Retro, they've got a brick and mortar store, right? Yes. They're in New Cumberland, about 30 minutes away. New Cumberland, Pennsylvania. You guys got to check them out if you haven't already. You're on Instagram, too. We follow each other on Instagram. Yeah. There you go. That, yep. You still got any of those Power Lord shirts left? I do have a couple. Yeah, if you need some, stop by. You got a large? I saw Carlos's yesterday. It's I was like, nice I shirt. want that Power Lord shirt. It's a, I have, I wear it. I do almost you? wore it yesterday, too. I, I love that shirt. It's comfy. Surprised nobody swiped that Home Alone slime yet. Good show. Hey, so this next batch of toys filled some holes in my Rebel Power Lords collection. First, I got two vehicles from my buddy Andy. Um, he knew I was interested in these. He had these set up at his um, indoor toy shop, flea market type space, and I told him to bring them for me. <laughs> so um, this is actually the Power Patroller. It's got the guns there in the front. And there's the little cockpit area you can see. It's not complete. Um, you know, it's missing the, the missile that shoots out of here. And then there was a, another missile that went on that back tailgate clip part there. Um, and then the covers are missing right here. One is actually for the battery, and then the other one you can put weapons in, and that covers there. Um, of course, this is the, the good guy. Power Lord's um, vehicle, the Power Patroller. So you could throw Adam Power on there and he can go zipping around. And then I got the Spizor vehicle. This one's a little bit more complete than the Power Patroller. Of course, this is the evil one. Um, it is missing two missiles. It has the firing mechanism here that would shoot the missile out. And then you could put the second missile right here in that hole. But it does have the battery cover here and then the compartment for the weapons. Cool little vehicles. You know, these are pretty rare. You don't find Power Lords vehicles very often. Um, I mean, you don't find the figures very often, let alone the vehicles and then the Vulcan Rock playset. So uh, I was happy Andy brought these for me. I got a really good deal on those. I am Lord Power, leader of the Lords. Riptog and Rhaegoth are attacking. We must help Psyduck defend Volcan Rock. Power Lord. Riptog has four fists. Psyduck is finished. It's Lord Power. He zapped Riptog's head. But Arcus has Psyduck. <laughs> Power Lords. Adam Power, Psyduck, Riptog, and Arcus are each sold separately from the Power Lords collection, new from Ravel. And then. I got a complete Disguisor Power Lords figure. He's cool, man. He's very, uh, he's very similar to what a man E faces would be in a Masters of the Universe. There's this club that it comes with. But what you can do is, it has this little mechanism here on his head. You press this down. this and here click pull it up as a new face and then you do it again new face there I kind of like that one pretty evil looking and this again yet another face and then back to the eyeball pretty cool right and it actually still works obviously cool little feature cool mechanism for this awesome Power Lords line. Again, look how weird it is. 
I've said that before in my videos, how weird the Power Lords figures are. Um, I don't think I'm lying, <laughs> but it definitely makes it appealing to us 80s toy collectors. So, all right, let's get back to the toy hunt. Box. It's cool. You don't see that one too often. No, no. <laughs> I just picked up a Fort Kirium not too long ago. Super excited about that. I had the box complete and everything. It's an amazing <laughs> It was my favorite playset as a kid. Was it complete? Yeah, complete. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Doing all right. Good, How's good. Plants, man? Selling some turtles. Absolutely. What's wrong with that? Always. That's a pretty clean technodrome. A lot of the times the the gray starts yellowing on. Yeah, you this know. one it just has to get cleaned up. I don't clean them. I let the buyer clean them. Yeah, yeah, but it makes it easier because I don't want to run something on it. Right. All right. Monsters are hot. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. Hot spot. Man, I'm glad I got hot spot when I got him. <laughs> yeah, man, I couldn't. I thought it was just. That's all awesome. Yeah, just just laying there. Yeah. Yeah. I should bridge it right there. I mean, if you look at it a little bit, yeah. That's easy. Two fifty three, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 
all sorts of parts in there. That's your section right there. So you have one. You know, I thought this show was good last year. It's pretty good this year. Uh-oh. What'd you find? You bought it. It's like the first star year I see. You got it. You get the white box. Like, I don't care if you use the car. Just let me know what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you get? Show us, chat. New oh. Adventures flip shot. Uh huh. Mm. I just found something yummy here. Ooh. This was one of the last figures released mm -hmm. in the New Adventures line. It was quite a banger. It's awesome. I've been after it for a while. You got a good deal on it, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was happy with it. Good. I was happy with it. Good. I never see them, so. Right. Yeah. That was what I just found. Oh. oh the gun clip. Yeah. <laughs> I was randomly going through stuff, and hey. I'm like, woo. <laughs> Set that That's aside. Good problem to have. Yes. It is. I'm a happy camper. That's why it's worth looking through these bins every once in a while. You <laughs> know what you're going to find. John here always brings awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. You are too kind. I had one of them when I was a kid. Well, one thing with this. Oh, yeah. It's a Batman nightlight. Nightlight. Yeah. Your very own uh, in room bat signal. Wake up on the side of the dirt, it's a good day. That's, you're absolutely right. That's I've, a, start, I've started yeah. using that phrase now. That is a good perspective. <laughs> now, <laughs> woke up on this side of the dirt. Oh, Excuse me. 
We should get a Sega. Oh, oh Dark Horse? Yeah. 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 Like back in the 1800s? Yeah. Let's find out about the phone call. Yeah. Yeah, the phone call. Genius. What's up, How you guys doing? I'm Morning. That's a way to not get in trouble, too. <laughs> can be on YouTube a little bit later. I like that Nickelodeon radio, that's cool. And then finally, my next batch of figures filled some massive holes in my advanced Dungeons & Dragons collection by LJM Toys. I got four figures from the first series, and then I even found two from the extremely rare and hard to find second series. First, I got the young male Titan figure. I picked him up from Uncle Bob. Gave me a really good deal on him. He is not complete, but he does have his helmet and then his shield, which is cool. So I'll be on the lookout for his additional accessories. I know he came with a staff and a sword, and I believe he had like a little um, soft plastic cover here uh, that went over his groin area. So that's the young male Titan. And then I got a 100% complete Elkhorn figure, the Battle Dwarf, great figure. And he's, he's pretty immaculate. Um, a lot of these are actually, they're pretty much in perfect condition. And then he came with his shield and his sword. So awesome to add a complete elk horn. And then I got the good wizard Ringle Run with his soft goods cloak. And then he has his staff here. And so that makes him 100% complete. Again, this is the good wizard, Ringle Run. They also made the evil wizard, Kellek. Um, they're very similar, um, very similar style of figures with the long beards and um, the soft good cloaks. And then this one is really hard to find complete because he came with various accessories and they're kind of small. So this is the Melf figure, so male elf, Paralay. And he is, again, 100% complete with his soft goods cape there on the back great looking figure 
and he came with his shield here, his small dagger, and then his bow for the arrows. Again, um, these last four figures I showed you are actually from the first series. So Melf, Elkhorn, Ringle Run, and uh, the Young Male Titan are all from the first series. In the eerie world of deep, dark dungeons, mystery and magic seem real. There's good against evil with advanced Dungeons and Dragons action figures. War Duke, Kellogg, Strongheart, and Bronze Dragon, each sold separately. Beware, Strongheart, you will cast an evil spell and steal the treasure. Yeah, evil is no match for good. The treasure is safe. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons action figures, Kellogg, War Duke, Bronze Dragon, Strongheart, each sold separately from LJN. And then from the rare second series, I got this Drex figure. And he is the Battlematic figure. Uh, the second wave of figures would find a lot of these original first series figures re released with the Battlematic action on the back. It has the lever which would operate their arm. Uh, so they called it the Battlematic action. Um, Drex here is 100% complete with this awesome shield. I mean, look how cool that shield is. The detail on that. That's a really, really cool looking shield. Um, he's a really cool sword too, actually. Um, great figure. Uh, got a really good deal on him too. I think I only paid like 40 bucks for him. Um, he's definitely worth more than 40 bucks complete. That's for sure. Again, these second series AD&D figures are really hard to find guys um, and then I got the um, Battlematic shield shooter North Lord figure so there's the figure and again he's got that Battlematic um, action there on the back and he is a hundred percent complete hundred percent complete and he's got his shield there and helmet And the other part of the shield, the sword, and the axe. Uh, North Lord here was originally released, like I mentioned, as a part of the first series of figures, and then they re-released him as the Battlematic Shield Shooter figure. Again, really hard to find complete. Um, you know, these these D and D figures are fantastic. Great detail, great colors. Usually they come with numerous accessories. The wizards, you know, they come with like the staff or, or a wand or something like that. But a lot of the battle warrior type figures came with many accessories. Um, awesome, awesome line by LJM Toys. So that's it, guys. That was Toys for the Ages Expo 2022. I really hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see, Chad, Matt, and I had an incredible time running around Toys for the Ages Expo. Got to catch up with so many of our toy hunting buddies and toy collecting, toy selling buddies. It was just a, a really, really fantastic weekend filled with really good people. I can't say enough about Andy Cook and his wife Jennifer, how cordial they are, how friendly they are, and what a fantastic show that they put on for the vintage toy community. You know, you can walk into toy shows anywhere else and you'll see you know a bunch of newer stuff and you know guys that go in and buy all the the, the latest wave of motu origins or gi joe classifieds and then they just come in and throw them on their table for double the price this show is not like that it is 75 percent vintage which is 2002 and prior because vintage is technically 20 years so that's what the vendors go by and it's it shows, and I think you can tell by my videos that, you know, if, if you're into vintage toys, you need to come to this show. It's, it's, you will come back with something, that is for sure. So many thanks to Andy and Jennifer for also allowing Chad and I to come in and film and document his incredible event. Thank you so much, Andy. Go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, as well as part one. And subscribe to my channel at Rees Retro Toys for all of your toy hunting needs. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep on hunting.
Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog. 